Towner, you start popping off. I don't care if they go 0-2 at your local, you should pop off You should them. especially be <laughs> popping off for them. Oh, man. All right. And I'm popping off because we have got game one ready to go. So like you said, Prod with the Pichu, Dev on the Mario. It'll be a lot of fun to watch this one. All right. Yeah, that uh, neutral beef from Pichu is going to be very good for, like, um, causing a lot of like disruptment in the play that Mario is going for. It's going to cause Mario to either have to jump over it, shield it, roll out of the way of it, and then Peach is able to follow up and um, kind of chase him down with that. Up Smash is going to be a really good option for Mario to shield. Ooh, unfortunate um, air dodge off stage there, but going to be able to make it back, mm. potentially. Dash attack causing problems here for for Pichu. I the two framing conversation that we were having <laughs> yeah. earlier, right? Like there's Dev saying, hey, I've got my very active hitbox and you don't have one that threatens me. You can't even like go above the ledge to hit my dash attack here. So I throw that out literally every time. And now at this point, as long as you stay alive as Dev, you can throw out some kill moves, but man, Prod definitely making him sweat on this first stock. Nonetheless, able to fly in just an aerial to take out that first one, but don't get too comfortable. Mario does have a good recovery, but if you're able to go out there and catch his jump, it can be curtains for him. So I really like that Prod went for the aggressive edge guard there, trying to catch like a back air or something, just to send Mario into the blast zone, but unfortunately overextends and loses his life for it. But still in this, ooh, um, ooh okay. The double? Not okay. able to get the kill off of it, but that's still some good damage there. Really like using Nair as a get off me option as well. Yeah, and that cute little up tilt, it's so <laughs> cute. But able to use the backer to actually um, sail at that stock. Sitting at 74% though, and when you're small and delicate like Pichu, this could be the end of your life if you're uh, hit with an unfortunate F smash here at the ledge. And there, once again, that dash attack. Now, you saw that, you know, Prod did grab the ledge right there, but tried to get off a little bit too quickly while that dash attack was still active even, so ended up taking the damage anyways. And honestly, I, I like the ability for you as a Pichu player right now to just kind of throw out a lot of these electricity using moves, right? You're going to inflict that self-damage, but you're at the point where a random up smash is already going to kill you anyways. So yep. just throw out the good moves, see if he runs into him, get your advantage started right, and then maybe you can bring yourself back into this one. But again, stray aerial with all that damage already built up. You're going to see Dev moving on to that one stock lead. Ooh, okay. Love catching the landing there with the up air. Able to get a combo off of it. Love that drag down into grab. Okay, but off stage, this can be Ooh. scary. Uses the side B to make it back. <laughs> With a nice little arc, too. Yeah, that was cute. Coming off of the flood, I love that. But Prop definitely not shaken by it at all. Goes for a little up throw. Did not get the right read on the DI, though, so we'll have to work a little bit harder. Again, not following that DI quite right. So 134 on Dev's Mario, and there's that just throw it out kind of up smash because you never know. If it works, it works. Now, Brad's DI was on point, but still needs to melt this Mario stock quick and then choose that last one. Sitting at 173, but ooh, able to catch him off the ledge there with the, the down B. Sitting at 122, cannot afford to get up smashed here, but yeah, unfortunately, uh, Dev just ready for that and takes game one. Yeah, great coverage on the ground, realizing, okay, like, what am I threatened by by Pichu here, right? It's going to be nothing that can outrange my up smash, nothing that's going to be able to reactively run in and punish it. If he tries to throw a thunder jolt on top of my head, I'll just clank with it, it'll go through it, right? If he tries to land on me with an aerial, I'll anti-air him because my up smash is bigger than Pichu's body. <laughs> And so it was It was really good to just say, hey, I'm at these low percents. Maybe, you know, Prod does throw me off stage, and then that could be a precarious position. But as long as I'm in center stage, I can just run back and forth and throw out as many of these up smashes as I want. And that's exactly what he did. It was a perfectly effective game plan. I also really like that sequence where we saw where Prod was on the ledge, and we just saw down air over and over again from Mario. It was so good at controlling the space, like, right around the ledge. So the only way that Prod would really be able to get around that is just to, like, dash underneath him. But that's so scary when you're afraid of that up smash too. So I really like that advantage state that we saw. Mm -hmm. Okay, Cape to just toss that projectile right back at you. I feel like Dev has done a really good job of building up the damage so far. And part of that hasn't even been necessarily attacking the Pichu a lot, but I mean, just kind of playing at a distance where Prod is trying to throw out some of these active hitboxes and is dealing a lot of self damage. Got the read on the jump from the ledge with that forward air. Unfortunately for Dev, it was just the sour spot, but fortunately for Prod, that means he gets to hang on at least a little while longer. We've just seen him get outpaced in the damage department on basically every stock. 
Yeah, it's really unfortunate um, that Dev isn't able, or um, that Prod isn't able to get stocks off of Mario very easily either. It seems like he was really struggling in that last game. Mario lived to like 170. I think a big change that we could see is if Prod's actually able to get the jab locks that he's been going for. Dev's been really consistent about checking. Oh, what? Okay. Why did he go that way? He was on the other side. I am just as confused as you are. I think it does have to do with like the direction that Pichu's facing, whereas it maybe with like Pikachu, it's uh, different on that end. Mm -hmm. Good air dodge right there, recognizing that Prod wanted to get right back into that game immediately. And are we going to go for it again? No, we're patient. Not patient enough. Dev gets to go back for a ledge trap immediately back to that dash attack. Don't see the mix up on the recovery, but Dev is able to clean it up despite a good change on that recovery from Prod. Again, toss out that up smash because why not? It's risk free. So consistent with the dash attacks at the ledge. Yeah, active um, hitboxes against Pichu, right? Like, what yeah, are you going to do? It, I didn't think that it would be that effective, but it's literally every single time that Prod is off stage, Dev is just able to hit him with that dash attack, and it's causing a lot of problems. Pichu's not really a character that you think about with, like, struggling to get back to stage. No way! Able to hit that um, up air into fair to take game two. Really good stuff to Dev. Very impressive play. Yeah, that last play especially. I mean, that was yeah. great, like, hit confirming and recognition in the moment, right? We don't think about that as much with Smash, right? We think, okay, I'm going to look for my opener and then, you know, throw out like the next two moves in that sequence. And then by then, you know, I'll know whether or not I'm getting that sequence to, to get that KO. But that was a really nice tight hit confirm right there from Dev. Love what we saw there. Getting that 2-0 victory in style. It's too bad that we didn't get to see Prod, you know, make the big plays in front of the hometown crowd. But I mean, did have a couple of flashy plays nonetheless. For sure, yeah. Okay, is this gonna be... Which one? Yeah, yeah, the up smash. Up, up smash, smash right got there. so much use in this set, and it seemed like it's really a problem. Which, now that I think back, I have a friend that plays Pikachu, and he always complains about Mario. So I think that makes sense. Like, the huge hitbox of um, up smash is just going to cover a lot of the aerials that we're seeing from Pichu and Pikachu. So I can I can definitely imagine why that's a pretty hard matchup for Pikachu and Pichu. Yeah. I mean, again, especially that up smash is about the size of Pichu's entire yeah. body, right? And so you're talking about, well, do I have anything to contest that move with? No. Like, it's... It's a very bait and punish heavy matchup for Pichu, I feel like, where mm -hmm. you're not going to be able to bust down Mario's door with uh, just a ton of hitboxes and really good frame data that is going to make you difficult to punish because you're running the risk of that kind of thing happening over yeah. and over. And Mario can put out damage just as quickly as you can. And I feel like it was like the same thing that we saw in the Snake set where it was 